quote, I really like to smoke weed, end quote, said 31-year-old Roy Pablo, who added, quote, I like the feeling of smoking, end quote, he told the court today. As the former police officer testified in his defense to a number of charges, including manufacturing, possession, and conspiracy to manufacture a controlled substance, in addition to child neglect and abuse and possession of more than one ounce of marijuana, he admitted to knowing his habit was illegal and could threaten his job as a man in uniform. While on the stand, he also testified that he had two homes, one in Barragata and one in Dededo, where he stayed with his significant other, Ah Roon Kim, her two children, and Kim's younger brother, Stephen. The Dededo house was raided by authorities last November, resulting in the arrest of all three adults. Today, Pablo clarified that although he enjoyed smoking weed and knew how to, quote, grow his own, end quote, he wasn't the one growing at the Dededo location, and that it was Stephen he suspected who was, quote, growing something, end quote, doing an experiment, end quote, evident by purchases Stephen requested of Pablo on eBay, including lights and reflective film. But despite his suspicions, Pablo admits to turning a blind eye to what was happening under his dededo roof. He stated he had never entered Stephen's room, which was always locked. He also stated he had never watered or cared for any plants there. Because he knew all room was dealing, he told the court today that he had tried on several occasions to get her to stop, but was unsuccessful and that he was aware that profits from such sales were used towards the dededo house's utilities. He added today, Quote, I told her that it could hurt us all and that I wanted her to stop, end quote. As incentive to stop, he says he funded a side business for her so she could stop relying on profits from drug sales. But because she continued to deal, Pablo told the court he stayed out of any transactions and never learned who her customers were, but on one occasion saw as much as $3,000 in cash in her possession. Although he maintained his not guilty plea for most of the charges, he did plead guilty to official misconduct today. His former boss, GPD Chief Fred Bordalio, reacts to Pablo's guilty plea, reiterating that no one is above the law. It's always a disappointment because in every uh, police training, the emphasis is always on that oath of office that they take, uh, you know, uh, their commitment to uh, comply with the laws. Uh, enforce the laws and, and uh, the responsibility that they have as a police officer to make sure that they uh, uh, ensure uh, that they're a model, you know, uh, for our youth and our generation, uh, the younger generation, to show that they're complying with the law and they respect the law. And by uh, an officer crossing the line and uh, being involved in illegal drug activity or any illegal crime is, uh, you, know, uh, you know, against the uh, code of ethics of the Guam Police Department. As we've been reporting, Pablo resigned from the police department following his arrest in November. Closing arguments will be heard Thursday morning before presiding judge Alberto Lamarena. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Crystal Paco.